hi guys uh, welcome back to today's vlog today guys i happen to to take this vlog a bit late it's coming to it's coming to 8 pm i've kind of been busy uh there is a form that i've been feeding in it's um it's i want to start going to school starting next year i want to go and do my masters so i've been doing it this evening but it has taken a lot of my time i am so so, so hungry guys so and um it's been a while without filming so i'm like okay now today i need to film but kind of got messed up with the forms and everything so anyway guys i'm here how was your week guys how was your weekend guys i was immunized i got my my last vaccination i had a few complications here and there but uh i'm now feeling okay so i'm um, like yeah finally i'm fully vaccinated guys i'm fully vaccinated so i have to wait for 14 more days then after 14 days i am free like a bird i can go everywhere i can travel wherever i want just a few complications here and there i need to get a yellow book i need to get a chill barra code but apart from that i'm good to go guys so that is not why we are here guys today we are here to cook and uh, i was like because most of the days most of the times i cook i kind of cook meals that are so so much and because i'm alone I end up keeping lot, lots of food in my fridge. So I was like contemplating um, to wait because I've got something coming up, guys. In this month, I'll, I'll be cooking for, for 10 people every week, every week. So I was like, okay, can I wait and film when I start cooking for these guys? Because there, I don't need to worry about food. But uh, I have to start filming late august so i'm like okay i can't keep you guys without anything so i'm like okay let me do something simple because yeah it's not pleasant when you have to open up your fridge every now and again and you're saying food 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 <laughs> also when you have so much food in your house you, you're like you can't even cook fresh meals so i'm like i want to start cooking small 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 amounts of food but anyway guys today i'm going to to cook irish potatoes i'm going to cook it with beef so i am super super excited and also i'm super 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 hungry guys so guys come with me to my kitchen yeah 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 by the way before i start <laughs> now <I> may may <laughs> my sister <laughs> she told me that when i start uh, when i say yes like i was not ready <laughs> May yeah but because when i say guys let's go and cook and then i say yeah but sometimes i'm not i'm not like ready for it yeah but guys i'm always ready <laughs> i'm always ready just that when i'm talking i'm talking from the mouth not from the throat and when i'm going to do the yeah it's from the throat so i have like okay <laughs> i have to wait for it and then i'm like okay i have to bring the yeah thing so guys let's go let's go let's go let's go so guys this is my basket of ingredients yeah like you can see i'm not going to use everything but at least i'm going to use each and everything each and every one of what you see in my basket in my basket i have the spring onions of course i'm not going to use all of it i have my broccoli i'm going to use all of it generally uh, broccoli has uh, a tendency of uh, conquering the taste like it conquers all the recipes when you use it but uh i just feel like I just feel broccoli this time it's been a while i don't normally use it and yet it is so 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 healthy so today i'm going to use it generously i have my my red, red pepper i have my orange pepper by the way uh i was talking with my auntie and then she told me like 
orange peppers and the yellow peppers have a tendency of running your stomach <laughs> especially you guys who want to cut weight when you eat orange orange and yellow pepper yeah it has a tendency of uh, running the stomach but yeah so yeah like food is about colors so for me regardless of everything i i want to use it i have my tomatoes i have my small chili pepper i have my uh my onion and this one so guys this is what i have for my vegetables then guys i have my uh sweet potatoes i'm going to make uh, mashed sweet potatoes because uh i feel like yeah i like i feel like eating <laughs> yeah guys there are days when you just feel like yeah you feel like something so i feel like eating mashed sweet pot uh irish potatoes and that is what i'm going to do i'm just going to put it on fire put in uh, uh some little little salt and then uh yeah it will cook boil then after i'll put use my butter and then i'll smash it and then after i can use i can eat what i can the rest can remain the beauty with uh mashed sweet potatoes is that uh you can use you can for people who uh, uh cook food for a week or so you can you can just uh, uh mash your potatoes irish potatoes and then you put it in the fridge it's like it stays so fresh that the moment you put it and you put it out and then you put it in the microwave or in the oven it is so 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 fresh it is so so fresh like it is just been freshly made so i'm going to 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 do this i have my beef here it's a half kilo yeah <laughs> it's been uh some few days without eating meat so i'm going to eat it i have my butter i have my olive oil and then the dry ingredients so guys let's start doing let's start going so guys this is my meat i'm going to cut small small pieces i i sometimes i love this knife but it just doesn't cut it for me so i'm going to cut these little pieces some of you are asked uh, i uh, you may be wondering like okay now esther said that uh she wants to go back to school yeah for the longest time i felt like i didn't want to go back to school because i had enough guys you know when uh, when you study from uganda and you finish the university guys you know what it means by reading like we read a lot of things a lot a lot of things you have so many books so many notes like everything is so much by the time you finish like you just want to 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 cut a sweat and never ever look back so that is that is what i thought okay now what do i need to do in life like i used to work in a bank but now i feel like i don't want to work in the bank anymore like it's i don't want to sit behind a computer and i don't want to look at numbers guys anymore i don't want to look at money money that is not mine so i'm like okay now i've been learning uh studying this uh this language is taking a while so now i need to start working and i'm like okay if i'm to start working what do i need to do the only thing that i have experience going guys it's the bank so and i don't want to work in the bank anymore so i'm like okay now if uh if i'm to 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 make something out of my life <laughs> like now i have no option i have no choice i have to go back to school i get a master and then i start my life once again i also remembered when uh, when i was growing up like my mother told me 
the things that you have control over in life make sure when you're doing them do do them to the fullest like now uh, I can I have control over my education I can decide what I want where I want to be so I'm like okay why not why don't I uh, try it like okay why don't I start over and see what I really want to do so I was busy this evening filling up the forms and then I'll see what to do I'll see how it goes but uh, yeah that's life that's life guys sometimes you just have to to be tough and it's what I'm going to do so guys this is my my little saucepan on fire I also put the Irish potatoes on fire so guys my Irish potatoes are here I didn't put in so much water because I don't want them to soak on so much water it's going to be mashed so really I don't need to to soak it into water so I'm going to bring I have my rum butter here I'm I'm using uh, butter because butter gives uh, gives food extra flavors the rich flavor I'm going to use this it gives it um, the rich flavor so that's my butter guys I'm going to add in some bit of olive oil so guys I've put it my meat I've put in a, a salt to be enough to cook it I'm going to put it up uh, to put in the our black pepper guys here that amount like a, a teaspoon a half teaspoon of uh, of black pepper of course our thyme also something like a half uh, teaspoon I'll put in our oregano guys the same quantity I'll put in our white pepper the white pepper guys yeah that's much I'll put in our beef curry. Then I'm going to cover the pan. Some people want uh, short videos others want long videos so like sometimes I, I I'm, I'm so torn I don't know what to do for you guys if uh, either to make for you long videos where we can have a chat in the middle of middle or I make for you short videos what do you think guys I need I need your comment you tell me what you want then your wish guys is my command we have our spring onions uh, guys uh, the other day I was uh, thinking about uh, when I was growing up like my mother used to tell me 
Nakaya, go and uh, that's what she used to tell me, to to call me, like my my son name, that Nakaya name. You see, guys, like you come go to the shop and buy for me an onion, guys. She would send me, she would send me for an onion, and then uh, I'll go happily bring one onion, and then she would cook this one onion with the rest of ingredients which other ingredients you guys do you think just a uh, tomato and then curry powder and then sauce will be ready and by the guys it used to be so delicious so I'm wondering was the sauce really delicious was I too young I didn't um, at that time, my taste buds grown or developed or something like I just enjoyed every bit of it. Like for as long as it was fried, <laughs> I would enjoy. Like okay, now today we are frying. We we uh, my mother is going to fly. I'm like so I would be so super excited about that frying bit. And then she's frying with just an onion, a tomato, um, curry powder. Just that, but nowadays I, when I I start cutting uh, the the vegetables, like an onion is super super small, and then just a tomato is also like, it's not enough. Like some sometimes here I don't use so much, but again, it for me it's too much. But uh, <laughs> a friend of mine, Jackie, Jack told me. Like Esther, you put in very little ingredients. <laughs> but you guys, <laughs> she told me, but Esther, don't put in too little ingredients. <laughs> like if it's tomatoes, we want to see so many tomatoes. If it's green peppers and all the paper colors, you want to see it like you cut very much. Like it's a lot, like you use generous amount. Like I'm like, Jackie, even then, what I cut, it's still too much. Like, no, Esther, it is not too much. I'm like, okay, how did my mother used to do it? Like, okay, just one onion, just one tomato, and then some, some funny curry powder. But we used to enjoy our meals. We were so happy. Uh -huh, childhood. Guys. I've, I've cut your orange pepper, so pray for me. <laughs> yeah, by the way, guys, this thing I've, I've, I've uh, cut around the first top. You know, I was busy chatting, talking. But uh, you see this? You don't need to to cook them. You remove them. So the first tip didn't have them, so I'm like, okay. It, it, I, there is no excuse. Before I started doing this thing, guys, I'm like, some days I'll just keep not eating, like cooking, like I'll just take a cup of milk and then bread. Just that. Or some days I'll just... I eat something very small. I eat, uh, I make a soup. And that's it. But nowadays, like, okay, if I make a, a lasagna, who's going to eat it? Nobody. It's me. It's going to end up in my stomach. Uh, if I make, um, now I'm making this beef, who's going to eat it? Nobody. They're yeah, happening. My rainbows are happening. I like to separate this. Because when you when you cut them the bulbs are going to to be all over the place. So the best thing is to use 
your hands that way they, will, they are not going to to fall off so much I forgot to cover what do you think guys <laughs> yeah I still have tomatoes to chop. I'll chop four. I should have chopped like, uh, I know, four. Four is enough. I have my garlic here. Just going to be generous and chop something like three or four. Yeah. I don't know where my Mr. Crusher went, but I should have played the role here. So people the things in life that you have control over when you're doing them make sure that you do them to the fullest like if it's education you go and have an education and when you sit in that class make sure that you give it a hundred percent if you're doing your business every day you wake up every day you wake up be energized not just go because it's a business that need to be done just have a purpose in life my mother taught me that always but the things that you don't have control over never stress so much because for example if you're being uh, employed, however much you would want to, to work your ass off, guys, it's not your business. And then sometimes you have procedures like, okay, in Europe, people work for hours. However much you want to work, 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 work. If you're given a job of four hours, the moment your four hours elapse, just go home. That's it. That is what they had for you. But the things that you have control over, guys, when you do them, do them fully. You don't have control over your marriages because it's not a game of one person. It's a game of two people. You might be thinking this, and then the other person is thinking the other one. Or, uh, the otherwise it might be like okay now we are on the good we are on the on the bright side but the other uh pattern is like okay it's running off the rails so what you don't have control over guys that is where you have exceptions of not performing but where you have control over guys Look at that, guys. Am I not a genius? <laughs> Imagine being a genius in cutting <laughs> ingredients. Yeah, yeah, but, but uh, that is also something. This is also something. Not everyone can cut it. At least I can cut it. <laughs> yeah. Can I take you to our beef? So guys, this is how our beef looks like. It is steadily getting better and softer. Let me give it a bit of stir. And at this moment, guys, I need to, I really feel like want to, to test. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, it's ready. It's ready for the ingredients. It's ready. You know what? You know what? You know what? So I'll bring my ingredients. Put them there. Everything there. Everything there, guys. It looks so much, but it's going to shrink. Look at that, guys. Our garlics. Remember the trick. Don't let yourself smell garlic. Always use a tomato to wash your hands. So guys, so I'm going to cover this. And then I'll check on our Irish potato. They are also on their way to brightness. To softness, not brightness, come up and stuff. So guys, I'll see you after. Um, after what? Let me see. Okay. You guys, I'll see you after five minutes. Yeah. Let's do this. See you after five minutes. Yeah. So, guys, let's check. On our beef, yeah. So this is how it looks like, guys. If you ask me where the ingredients are, my guess is I don't know. I don't know. So I'll add in the tomatoes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how our meat looks like. Everything so far is so gone. One of my friends, uh, Vicky, uh, no, Becky. Becky Kabugo told me that um, she likes the way I talk, not not liking the way I talk, like, okay, now, like, my voice did not change, she's my childhood friend, we actually, like, became sisters because we are in the same house, Becky, yeah, we are at living home. And then uh, she says that my voice did not change. So I'm like, okay. So voices don't change. Like Esther, you didn't change at all. The way you used to talk when you you were at home that time. I think, wow, it's been a while. I can't. Was I, was I like uh, supposed to be going to S1? That age of uh, 14? 15, <laughs> 14, 15, 13, like Becky still thinks that I, the, the way I used to speak then is the way I speak now. So, is that something good, <laughs> Becky? Ooh, so, the Irish potatoes, however stubborn they are, at this uh, point, they should be ready. They should be ready. Are we like cooking cassava? Yeah, they are ready. So I'm going to, to drain the water out. Ah. Cooking.
cooking guys is not easy cooking is not so easy have to be prepared to get all the injustices from fire from hot water everything comes and drops on you so this is how it is i'm going to smash it and then before you know guys in a bit so guys this is how our beef looks like now look at that guys so i'm going to put in one final round of dry ingredients you see guys this is uh, my matures mix just a teaspoon i have my curry powder here just a, a teaspoon i have my paprika i'll use a teaspoon not so full this quantity then i have my my meat sauce I'll give it a good stir look at this guys beautiful look at this I'll put in just that just to clean the, the pan the bottom So what do you think? It's so ready. You see, it wasn't so easy to do. Just for the the step by step. Uh, the way I used, I did it. And then your meal will turn out like this. It will turn out like this, guys. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Then that's so beautiful. So appetizing. And that is what we want out of food. Yeah, guys. That is what we want out of food. It's not advisable to eat very late in the night. I know I eat around 6 p.m. Just on exceptions like today's. But uh, it's, not, uh, it's not proper to eat late. Because uh, you're going to grow fat before you know it. You're like... You like this is my Irish potatoes. This is how it came out, and then, shh, guys, I don't want to eat so much, but this is simply mouth watering. I think that is this is going to be enough for me. I do think, guys. <laughs> okay, I hope you've learned something. 
out of today's video today's conversation we've had and uh what else should i say guys so guys this is how it looks like if you presented this dish to your vista to your dear husband to your dear fiance to even your children guys look at that it is so beautiful guys it is so beautiful guys just a minute guys i need to show you properly guys look at this look at this look at this guys yeah guys so guys the meat is so tender i wish potato is so soft the butter is killing me with all the flavors guys anyway guys thank you so so much for watching for keeping up with me guys let's learn let's share recipes and for guys i need your comments where i need to change guys i need to know short videos long videos just send in your thoughts because i need to improve this it's just something it's a baby it's my baby so guys <laughs> yeah 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 Let's make it big, 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 big. Thank you so, so, so much once again, guys. I'll see you some other time. Bye, guys.